Hello. How are you? Can you hear me well? Is everything okay? Can you see me now? Okay, good. <clears throat> uh, you know that we are going to learn English language, intermediate level, yeah? So, what are the course objectives? Uh, I'll tell you for, for the newcomers, I'll tell you that by the end of this course you will be able to understand TV programs, lectures, take part in different conversations, make not technical but specialized texts, speak with the native speakers, okay? For those who are newcomers. Uh, now, today is our fourth lesson. So, we're going to study past simple versus past continuous, affirmative and negative forms, yes or no question, and we're going to do practice, listening, reading and writing. I hope you are ready. Yeah? Okay. So, let's start. By the end of this lesson, you will get to know past simple and past continuous tenses. Now, let's start with past simple. Past simple is used for the actions which happened at the stated time in the past. For example, he sold his car two weeks ago. We can ask, when did he sell? Two weeks ago. We know the time when he sold his car. The second, when do we use past simple? Past simple, simple we use to express a past state or habit. Uh, when he was young, he lived in a small flat. Okay? Uh, the third one. For past actions which happened one after the other. She put on her coat, took her bag and left the house. Then, we use past simple for an action which happened in the past and cannot be repeated. I once spoke to Princess Diana. I can't talk to her because she's dead. No. Okay. Do you have any questions? If no, will you please write down any question, uh, sorry, any sentence in past simple. You know, my dear students, as it's an intermediate level, I'm not going to say how is, uh, the past simple is formed. I am sure that you know that to form a past simple, we must add ed ending to the verb and use the second uh, form of irregular verbs. For example, go, went. Will you please write down an, any sentence or any phrase with past simple? Okay, so if you don't want to write any sentence, let's continue. Now we're going... I knew him from university. Yes, good Lilith, good for you. Who else? Okay, now let's continue. Now we're going to study past continuous. Was, where, plus, ing, we use past continuous for an action which was in progress at a started, stated time in the past or for two or more actions happening at the same time in the past. I was playing tennis yesterday at 3 o'clock. We know that it was yesterday and at a stated time in the past at 3 o'clock. My mother was riding a horse while my father was watering the trees. Okay, will you please write down the sentences in past continuous form? Now let me read 
that have it, I bought dress yesterday. Good. I lived in Holland for two years. Uh -huh. Yes. I was watching TV when she called. Yes. Good, Mila. Who else? I left home when my mother was sleeping, yes. Mm -hmm, good, Tatevik. Okay, let's continue. Thank you. Good sentences, good examples. Mm. We use past continuous. We, when uh, we, for an action which was in progress when another action interrupted it. The action which interrupted we use in a past simple. We use two sentences and we join these two sentences with the word when. I was reading a book when the telephone rang. Uh -huh. uh, uh, that heavy has already written. I was looking after my sister when my mother was at work. Or, um, the, well, let me check. Uh -huh. Mina has already written. Uh, I lived in Hall. Uh, sorry, I was watching TV when she called. Yes, she was watching TV. And when she called, it is an interrupted action. Okay. We were walking when he suddenly when it suddenly began. What 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 has what uh, to rain? Oh, yes, it began raining. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who else wants to write an example? Okay, let's continue. Now, I want you to do some practice. Here are some sentences and the verbs are written in brackets. I want you to write these words to open the brackets and write them in the correct form either in the past simple or past continuous. You can also have a sheet of paper and a pen or pencil to write them down and then, and then write them in chat box. For example, you can write first sentence, I, I don't want to tell the correct answer. Okay, I can, I give you five minutes. Please write them down and then we will check. Okay? Start, please. Be active. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll wait until you all of you finish, then we will discuss, okay? Okay, good, Mina. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Dr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Good Lily, thank you. And the tenth one. Okay. Now let me read. Good, thank you. All answers are nice. Now let me read the correct ones. I played computer games yesterday. I was playing computer games at 5 o'clock yesterday. Yes, good, Anim. Uh -huh. The third one is, he was playing computer games from 2 to 3 yesterday. Mm -hmm. I hope you he was playing yes uh -huh. yeah he was playing because the time is mentioned from two to three all this time uh, during this duration he was playing the time is mentioned the fourth one we were playing computer games the whole evening yesterday the time is also again mentioned the evening is mentioned all the evening you the evening they were playing. The fifth one. What was Nick doing when you came to his place? It's an interrupted sentence. What were you doing, the sixth one, when I rang you up? I was not sleeping at 9 o'clock yesterday. Um, dear students, be careful, be attentive. When the time is mentioned, 9 o'clock yesterday, we must use was where plus ing or ing we can also say past continuous now the eighth one uh-huh what did you what did you do yesterday just yesterday what did you do i read a book but here in the ninth sentence what were what was he doing the whole evening yesterday he was reading a book and the tenth one Yes, all answers are correct for the tenth one. Was she sleeping when you came home? Thank you. Uh, thank you for your uh, answers. Do you have any questions? Do you want me to explain anything? Or is everything clear? Please don't be shy. You can ask questions. Is everything okay? You don't have questions, that have you? Okay? Good, let's continue. Okay. Now, I want you to read this uh, article. It's about a housewife in Kenya uh, and housewife races out of poverty. I want you to read this text then we will have a listening part for this text and then we will answer the questions. Okay, are you ready? It's very interesting text. Please, let's start.
Okay? Now let me read again. Yesterday, Chimokel Chipalong, a Kenyan housewife, a mother of four, beat hundreds of professional athletes and won the Nairobi Bar Marathon and twelve thousand dollars. This was her first marathon race and she ran it in two hours. 39 minutes and 9 seconds. The other runners included professionals such as Jos Chem Chemchumba, the three times winner of the London Marathon. Chimakel only started running a year ago, in April, to pay for her children's education. Now, in Kenya, she is a hero and an inspirational person. People think she is a determined woman and dedicated mother and a talented person. Next week there is a party in her honor. Now I'll turn on the listening track and then you will hear the rest of this article. Okay? Unit 2. Lesson 1. Exercise 3A. Chimakel, did you want to become an athlete when you left school? Oh, no, I didn't. I come from a very poor place, and my mother died when I was 16. So I left school, and then I married Benjamin a year later in 1995. I didn't think about running or sport at that time. I had a lovely husband, a home, and then I became a mother. I have four beautiful boys. So, why did you start running? We are a poor family. We have just a few animals. Three sheep and seven chickens, in fact. And a little land for potatoes. We're a hard-working family, but in our local area, most people earn under a dollar a day. So we didn't have any money, but we wanted to send our boys to school. Then last year, my neighbor told me about the running races and the prize money. So I decided to start running, and here I am now. <laughs> How did you train and look after the children at the same time? My husband Benjamin was very helpful. I trained every morning. I ran in the hills, and Benjamin made breakfast for the boys. They're very young. The oldest is only nine, so it wasn't easy for my husband. But he didn't get angry. He always smiled. <laughs> He's a patient, friendly man. And last week he sold one of his sheep and a chicken to pay for my ticket to come to Nairobi. He helped me very much. He's very kind. Did you win much money yesterday? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, a lot, a lot, a lot for me and my family. I won $12,000. It's incredible. I still can't believe that I won the race. Now we can send our children to a good school. When we were young, we didn't have the chance to finish our education. But perhaps our children can go to university. Was this marathon your last race? Oh, I don't think so. They want me to race in Europe next year. Can you imagine? <laughs> I live in a tiny village in the Kenyan countryside, and they want me to run in Paris and London. I hope I can take my family and that we don't need to sell any more sheep and chickens. Is everything okay? Did you understand everything? Okay. Now, there is a practice. Now, uh, what are we going to do? We have read and we have listened to an uh, interview with Chimokel. Now, what is the task? Please, uh, instead of think, now we're, uh -huh, yes, now instead of thinking, we're going to write, just write down what were they talking about. Uh -huh. Okay, Tatevik, thank you. You are very quick. Yes, Lilith, okay, well, Oh, you are so smart. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mina. 
Okay, all answers are correct. Good. Okay, now let's do the other exercise. Again, it is connected with the listening and reading part. Uh -huh. Now, we're just going to put them in order. Just you can write down first, for example, G, then continue. What happened the first? Married Benjamin, sell a ship, have children, start running, train every morning, win the marathon, leave school, travel to Nairobi. What did she do the first? Yes, first of all, she left school. Then, what happened after that? Okay, first of all, yes, she left school, then A, she married Benjamin, then after that she had children, yes, that's a week, after that she began to, st uh, she started running, okay, then she trained every morning, yes, they saw a sheep, traveled to Nairobi and won a marathon, thank you, good, okay. Now let's continue. I hope you are not tired, yeah? Now, what are we going to do? There are three examples. We're just going to write the one which is correct. We're just going to choose the best adjectives. She is very dedicated, lonely or friendly. She always does her training. Please read the continuation of a sentence to understand the first part. Yes, that big. She's inspirational because many people now want to succeed like her. She inspires them. Okay, she is very dedicated. She always does her trainings. Her husband is helpful. He makes breakfast every morning. She is very determined. She never stops. She wants to succeed. She is inspirational. Many people now want to succeed like her. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue.
Now, the, um, uh, we're going to match the beginnings with the endings. Please write in a chat box the whole sentence. For example, her mother died and then the continuation. Okay? You will have three minutes. Please write down the beginning and choose the correct ending for each sentence about Chimoke. Okay. Can you go down? Okay. Good little bit. And start a week. Okay. Now, let me read the correct ones, but your answers are also correct. Just let me read them. Her mother died when she was 16. She left school in the same year. She married Benjamin one year later. She started running a year ago. Thank you for your clever smart and good answers. Now, what are we going to do? Here is an interview, the continuation of an interview. There are some verbs in a box. We are going to put these words in the correct form instead of the gaps, but as we can't write them in the gaps, just write them in a chat box. Second, what are we going to do? For, for example, there is an example. Tell us more about your training. How did you prepare for the race? Okay, let's continue. Let's write and then there is a continuation of an interview. Please write them down. I'll give you some minutes. Please don't hurry. Just work and then we will discuss, okay?
Okay. Uh -huh. If you if you are already if you have already finished, let's continue because there is a continuation. Uh, can I move the slide? Have you finished with this slide? Please be careful. Today's topic is past simple and past continuous. So we're just working on these tasks. And be careful, there are two gaps for each word. There are some words that we have two gaps in, especially in uh, question forms. We're going to write down auxiliary verb and a verb. Yeah, please be careful. Mm -hmm. I hope you have finished. Let's move on. Are you tired? Don't you want to finish up the conversation? It's an interview. Let's finish it up. Okay, good. Thank you, Datevik. Uh -huh. Datevik, please be careful when we use the auxiliary verb did. Uh -huh. Good, Mina. Did watch. Mm -hmm. Yes, didn't have, stayed, spoke, who else? Yes, Datevik, didn't come. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. Just be careful. Yes. I hope you are ready. Where is Lilik? Uh -huh. Yes, good Lilik. You are here, didn't come, didn't... Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's discuss. We will move back. Tell us more about your training. How did you prepare for the race? Well, I trained every day. I ran about 10 kilometers each time. How did you feel before the race? I was a bit nervous. I got up at 5 o'clock because I couldn't sleep. Did you prepare special food? Did you have special diet? No, I didn't. I add my normal food with my family every day. Now the eighth one. Did your family watch the race? No, they didn't. They didn't come to Nairobi. We didn't have the money for that. They stayed in a village. I spoke to them on the phone after the race. I'm sure they're very proud of you. Congratulations, Chimoke. Okay, she's a very strong woman, yeah? Now let's continue. Did you like the text and the listening? Was it interesting? Okay. It's from a real life, by the way. Now let's continue. Okay, now I want you 
to write the correct form of the verbs in the brackets. In, uh, instead of one, two, three, we're just going to write the verbs in the correct form. Then, uh, in front of A, B, and there is all, uh, also C, point C, we're just going to write down, we're just going to guess who these people are. Hassan Fathi, Junichuko Tanizaki, these uh, names are very difficult, hard ones, but, and John Lennon. Okay, I hope you understand what are we going to do. We're just going to open the bracket, put the verbs in the correct past form, uh -huh, and then write down A, who is it? B, who is it? After that, we will listen to the track and check our answers, okay? Okay, start. In two minutes, I'll move the slide. I'll go on because the results, there is uh, some part left. I hope you are ready. Let's move on to the next part, okay? Have you finished with this part with A and B? Okay. Now let's do the part C. And then we will check with listening. Okay. Okay, good, Tatavik. Okay, Mina, 
let's wait some seconds and then I'm not going to read the text. You will just listen and check your answers. Unit 2. Lesson 2. Exercise 5. A. John Lennon was an inspirational British musician from Liverpool and in the most famous pop group of all time, The Beatles. In 1980, he was returning to his home in New York when someone shot and killed him. B. Hassan Fathé was an important Egyptian architect. He designed his first building in the 1930s when he was teaching at the Faculty of Fine Arts in Cairo. He built modern houses in the traditional Egyptian style. C. Junichiro Tanizaki was a Japanese writer. He wrote about Japanese culture and the influence of Western countries on Japan. In 1923, when he was living in Tokyo, a great earthquake destroyed his home and he moved to Osaka. Okay, sorry. Now, uh, sorry there is a uh, mistake. Uh, instead of uh, practice, it is written listening. Now, what are we going to do? We're just going to find out we, uh, the opposite adjectives. For example, polite, rude. Please write down the adjectives, opposite ones. Mm -hmm. What is the opposite of polite? Yes, you are right, Tatevik. The opposite of polite is rude. Mm -hmm. The opposite of friendly is, yes, unfriendly. Mm -hmm. Good, Ani. Okay. Confident. Shy. Yes, Tatevik. Uh -huh. Nice. What is the opposite of nice? The opposite of nice. What is the opposite of nice? He's a nice person. He's a yes, mis horrible person. Uh huh. Good. Hardworking, lazy. Yeah. Clever. Clever, stupid, yes. And what is the opposite of chatty? The opposite of chatty is quiet, yes. Good for you. Okay, now let's move on. Now, I want uh, you to know that in our Facebook uh, group we always put the home task. But um, only Andranik, uh, he's not here, but I'd like to tell him thank you. He always does the home task and he does it perfectly well. Uh, he's not here, but uh, next time I'll tell him thank you again. Only he does the homeworks. So I'd like you uh, to tell that it's very important to do home task, people. Um, 
it's a home task, Tatevik. <laughs> you must do it during the whole week. We are putting the home task in our Facebook group, you know, here in the Facebook group, you can have these home tasks, these uh, slides, and you can write them down in uh, in the same uh, papers, in the same slides. Okay. Then uh, I'll tell you that the next lesson will be not on Wednesday, but on Tuesday, the same time. It will be 25th of August at 7 p.m. Before that, I'd like you to do the home task, the homework. I'll check and I'll work individually. Please don't uh, be shy. If you have questions, I'll answer all the questions. I'll be very glad if you have questions and you want to contact with me and to discuss anything. Please don't hesitate, don't be shy Just to work. These home tasks are very, uh, these uh, exercises of home tasks are very um, good ones. Uh, they are not very boring. I hope you will like them. Just open them and write these exercises. Okay? I hope this time I'll have not only one home task from Andranik, but from all of you. This home task is very important to learn any level, any language. It doesn't mean, it doesn't matter that we're learning English or another uh, language. It's very important to do homework. Okay? By the end of this course, you can understand language used in everyday situation. If the speaker is uh, speak slowly and clearly, uh, even if the speaker is a native one, you will be able to make uh, simple sentences, reply simple questions, talk, talk about likes, dislikes, family routines, uh, order meal in restaurant, go shopping, understand and write basic texts, and watch. Uh, programs, TV programs and fields and understand. Now, thank you for participation. Thank you for attending. Please feel free, uh, leave questions and uh, connect it with English. Post comments. Okay? Join our Facebook group and don't forget, next lesson will be on the 25th of August. It will be Tuesday at the same time, 7 p.m. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.